We did have a bit of news this week, though. I didn't think there was going to be any, but nope. when I went looking just before the show, I did find something relatively juicy. Uh, so there's going to be three new miniseries um, and a new line that we're going to have at DC uh, called DC's The New Golden Age. And this is kind of a Jeff Johns-led initiative. Mm-hmm. He's not writing any of these three books, but clearly these are all sort of coming from mm-hmm. his JSA stuff, uh, or they're spinning out of that or whatever. So... Yeah, so there's three books announced for this banner. They're all miniseries. Uh, so one is Alan Scott, The Green Lantern, which is going to be written mm-hmm. by Tim Sheridan with art by C. and Tormey. Uh, the next one is Jay Garrick, The Flash, by Jeremy Adams and art by Diego uh, Oratigi. So uh, that's Adams on a Flash thing again, just a different Flash. Yeah. He's on Jay mm-hmm. instead, of, instead of Wally. And then the third one is Wesley Dodds, The Sandman, by yes. Robert Vendetti. And Sweet. Riley Rosmo. No. <laughs> they, they they had me in the first half. <laughs> You're still gonna try it though. No, oh, you know I am. It's it's Vendetti. He's he's earned that from me. Um Vendetti's earned nothing from me, but I do yeah, like the Sandman as a character enough that mm-hmm. I will give it a go. But I will I will right. admit the Riley Rosmo art might just scare mm-hmm. me away after the first yeah. issue. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping. I'm hoping with the fact that it's Wesley Dodds, the it's less of the dreamlike stuff. So then, you know, Rosmo has to be reined in a little bit because you kind of want that pulpy vibe, right? The gas mask and the trench coat, you know. Oh, that's an issue to go ultra dreamy, and therefore it justifies Rosmo's bullshit. <sighs> I hope not. It's random in because when the first time I saw Rosmo it was that Batman Shadow book, and it wasn't too bad. Like it still wasn't to my liking. But it wasn't like, you know, the Rosmo. Oh, it got art. worse, yeah. Yeah, when, yeah. It was when we got to that Martian so, Manhunter mini mm-hmm. that he did that I, I just yeah. was like, oh, I hate this. <laughs> like, so, I, I actually hate this. So I know he's co- uh, capable of doing the pulpy stuff. So, but yeah. I'll tell almost, you this, though. That there. cover for Sandman is not Rosmo because it, yes. it looks good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's covers there. It looks like Judy Garrick is going to be in yep. the, uh, the the J stuff, which is again, what's, what, what I'm saying is tying it into all this mm-hmm. JSA John stuff that he's doing. Uh, and there's a cover for uh, Alan Scott Green Lantern, which looks quite nice. Probably my favourite of the three, actually. So I don't know, Pete. This might be Rosmo on, on the art. On the Sandman cover? On the Sandman, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that does not look a Rosmo head to me. Um, look, look at look at the dude's face on the ground. That's by the car. It's it's a it's Rosmo esque. I thought no, his forehead's not sticking out. What are you talking about? <laughs> maybe maybe he learned to not stick out foreheads. I mean, maybe, I mean maybe. Like if yeah. this is a Rosmo cover, then it's given me a little bit of hope that I won't hate the art in the book. But yeah. I, I'm not. This there is far too many straight lines on this cover for this to be Rosbo. I I do not accept that. Fair. I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah, obviously, yeah, we have the creative teams for the books, but nothing's mentioned. It's, yeah. it's, it's not a solicit, so we don't have the full cover by inks by no. usual usual. Um, so yeah, obviously there was the one shot last year from Johns, which led into the GSA and Star Girl books. Uh, Star Girl is just about to end. Mm-hmm. Uh, GSA is still only quite early on its run, obviously, of its twelve issues. But, uh, yeah, so, um, I don't know, this seems like an interesting, interesting mix of things, uh, so, yeah, uh, just, uh, there are some descriptions here for them, I'll just mm-hmm. read what these are, uh, so the Alan Scott Green Lantern, uh, revisits and recontextualizes the origins of the first Green Lantern through the lens of a modern understanding of the man, uh, the story which begins in the 1930s is about an old flame, the kind that burns eternal, and the uh, sometimes head-on, single-track collision of our personal and professional lives. Mm-hmm. Jim Carter's not here, because he'd have to drink for that. Uh, <laughs> this is Alan's coming of age, in which he must embrace the man he is to become the hero he's meant to be. In the end, he'll have gained a greater understanding of himself and his gifts, as he unlocks a new, previously unknown ability that could make him the most powerful Green Lantern in existence. A new ability, they say. We'll see about huh. that. Uh, Whatever it has to do with the star heart. If they're going to lean into that, you know, the whole concentration of magic uh, era. Cool. Uh, Jay Garrick, the Flash, is said to be about the difficulties about being a parent as Jay Garrick must learn to connect with his speedster daughter, Judy. 
simple enough. And then Wesley does the Sandman, sees mm-hmm. the character rushing to find a stolen science journal before its deadly contents are shared with the belligerent nations who are trying to pull the United States into the next world war. I'm so in, based off of that. Dodds, we are told, has given up on the hope of a peaceful world, but he hasn't stopped believing that people can be better to each other. If only if they're given the right tools. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three miniseries, three six-issue books uh, coming later in the year. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's interesting to see this. You know, there was part of me that kind of thought that, okay, they've let Johns do GSA and Stargirl, mm-hmm. but it kind of felt like maybe they will just end and that'll be it all over and there won't be anything else. So seeing yeah. this is like, oh no, they're expanding it a little bit. Yeah. There's these other books that are connecting to it. That's kind of nice. Seems like they're keeping them in their own little corner though too, you know? Yeah. So like having having Jay and Judy in a miniseries instead of, you know, having them appear in The Flash. Um is a choice. I mean, I think it makes sense to keep the GSA cornered mm-hmm. off from the rest of the universe, to be honest. Especially sure. if you're saying they're, they're in the 40s. <laughs> it just yeah. it feels like, yeah, they naturally feel separate from everyone else. Yeah, and, and like, that feels, you know, that feels right to me as well, so... Yeah, uh, this uh, article in Newsarama points out that this is the first time uh, Alan Scott's headlined a book since 1949. Yeah, I believe it. That's, that's a whale. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that, that's been yeah, because I mean, he stopped. He stopped being Green Lantern, right? Or he was only in Justice Society, and then they relaunched in what 1960, when with Hal as Green Lantern, uh, or 62. I can't remember. I get, I get my ears all confused now. So I can't imagine it, it's it, that much later for Jay Garrick though, either, right? Mm-mm. No, because again, not what, a solo book. Because because once Barry's the Flash. Mm-hmm. It's been Barry or Wally, maybe Bart right. here or there, but yeah. like, you know, that's pretty much been it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and has Sandman ever had a solo book? <laughs> yeah, well, he had the Sandman Mystery Theater. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, yeah. Or like, uh, not anthology, but kind of one-off pulpy detective stories. Yeah. Basically, what I'm saying is that all three of these feel like they mm-hmm. they're overdue a bit of, of a spotlight. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I mean, we're gonna check out all three of them. I'm I'm very excited for. The, the premise of all of them. Uh, we'll, we'll see how the art handles up on that last one. <laughs> we, we will indeed. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, three Golden Age JSA characters getting miniseries. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if it specifically says here when they're coming, but given, we're probably September, October, given when we'll be getting announcements for recently. 